Hello, and thanks for joining us today. I'm Jennifer Tsao, a product management lead, and I'm joined by David Dandenu, an engineering lead. And we're here to share some exciting updates and opportunities across Android for Cars. Google has been investing in the automotive industry for over a decade. Throughout this time, our vision has remained constant to bring safe and seamless connected experiences to cars. The automotive industry is in the midst of significant transformation across both hardware and software. Today's cars are equipped with large, beautiful displays, quiet cabins, and amazing sound systems, making them feel like living rooms on wheels. And the driving experience is increasingly defined by software and connectivity, helping to make it safer and more convenient. With voice assistance and real-time route optimization, drivers can keep their eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. And access to a growing number of apps and services makes it easier than ever to stay in touch and entertained on the road. Perhaps most transformative of all, cars actually get better over time with over-the-air software updates that provide new experiences and improvements. When you couple these technological advancements with the fact that American drivers spend nearly an hour a day in the car, there's more opportunity than ever for developers to bring apps to cars. Across our automotive product suite, we're reaching scale and continuing to grow. Android Auto allows drivers to connect their Android phone to the car to access their favorite apps right on the display. The new Android Auto is now available to all, and the feedback from drivers has been really positive. The split screen design adapts to a variety of screen sizes and orientations, including landscape, portrait, or extra large. This provides more information at a glance and has improved functionality like smart suggestions, missed call reminders, quick ETA sharing, and instant access to music or podcasts. And we're excited to announce that Android Auto will be available in about 200 million vehicles this year. If you haven't tried the new Android Auto, check it out on your next drive. To make the phone even more helpful, Digital Car Key allows drivers to do things like lock, unlock, and even start their car with select Android phones. With ultra wideband support, drivers can do all that hands-free, and they can securely share keys with friends and family, even those with iPhones. This experience is coming to more phones and car brands in the future. Beyond projecting from the phone, we've seen strong adoption of our open source platform, Android Automotive OS, and many car manufacturers are now offering models with Google built-in. This embedded solution integrates Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play directly into cars. The Google built-in experience connects with car systems and sensors so drivers can do more hands-free in the car, like change the temperature or get real-time range information. With Google Play built in, developers can distribute and update apps just like they would on any other Android surface. Many top car manufacturers already offer models with this experience, and all of these brands will have cars with Google built in available this year, including the Chevrolet Blazer EV, the Lincoln Nautilus, Volvo EX90, Polestar 3, and more. Now, I'm going to hand it over to David to talk about new apps and experiences across Android for Cars. The flexibility of the Android platform allows developers to create unique experiences that help drivers and passengers safely navigate to their destination, stay connected to the world around them, and access a variety of entertainment. We think about these in terms of driving experiences and parked and passenger experiences. First, we're gonna talk about apps designed for driving. From the beginning, our focus has been on helping drivers while they're driving, and these are some of the app categories that aim to serve those needs. Navigation continues to be the top use case. Now it's possible for navigation apps to integrate with the instrumentation cluster, providing turn-by-turn -turn direction right in the driver's line of sight. And developers can also access more car sensor data to surface helpful information like range, fuel level, and speed. This allows for proactive suggestions like when a charging stop is necessary or when there are speed limit changes. During the drive, media apps help drivers stay entertained and informed with music, podcasts, news, and audiobooks. 
apps like Spotify, Deezer, and SoundCloud are available in cars with Google built in, with Audible being the latest addition. If you have a media app, it's easier than ever to bring your app to both Android Auto and Android Automotive OS. While we'd all love to listen to music or catch up on our favorite podcast during our commute, sometimes traffic or work has other plans. That's why we've been working with partners like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Cisco so you can join a scheduled meeting without fumbling for your phone. These partners all leverage Android telephony APIs to bring calling to Android Auto. Calling with Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Cisco WebEx will be coming soon with more to follow. Staying on top of things at home and the weather while driving can deliver peace of mind. To keep people connected to their smart homes from the road, developers in the Internet of Things category, like Home Assistant, can now build and submit apps for Android Auto and Android Automotive OS. For weather, the Weather and Radar app is already available, and the Weather Channel will be available later this year. In addition to bringing more apps to help drivers while driving, we're also focused on bringing new experiences while parked and for passengers. As screens expand across the entire dashboard, front seat passengers will be able to assist with navigation, choose entertainment options, and more. And screens in other parts of the car, like the rear seat, provide new ways for passengers to engage and enjoy personalized apps. This includes being able to share experiences across screens. The new in-car technology unlocks opportunities for developers, car makers, and users. So we're excited to announce multi-screen support is coming to Android Automotive OS 14. Video apps are ideal for large screens and multi-display setups, and we've been working to expand the variety of video apps in cars. To accelerate this, we're making it easier for you to bring your tablet apps to the car. Joining existing video apps, YouTube is launching in cars with Google built in, starting with Polestar and Volvo cars, with more to follow soon. Beyond video, we're also bringing experiences like browsing to the car. Developers can now bring browser apps to the car, allowing drivers to do more while charging or waiting for curbside pickup. In addition to video and browser apps in the car, we're also enabling gaming apps. We rolled out Game Snacks for Android Auto, and as we approach a million gamers per month, we're excited to bring more gaming experiences to Android Automotive OS. We're bringing eight more popular titles from FRVR, Vector Unit, and Outfit 7 to cars with Google built-in. This is a rapidly expanding category and an exciting space for game developers to reach an engaged audience. Lots of momentum and updates. Now I'm gonna share more about how you can bring these experiences to life in the car. If you're a developer interested in bringing apps designed for the car, the Car App Library allows you to build driving safe apps compatible with both Android Auto and Android Automotive OS. Check out the Car App Library Fundamentals Code Lab to learn more. One app already available in Android Auto and now coming to cars with Google built in is Waze. Thanks to the Car App Library, Waze revamped the app for easier scaling and implementation. Let's listen to Adam Freed, head of Waze Product Partnership, on how they did it. Thanks, David. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to share how our revamped Waze app was built with the Car App Library. We were drawn to the Car App Library because it enables us to have a unified code base across Android Auto and Android Automotive OS. This allowed us to resolve gaps in feature parity and save development time and resources. Now we'll be able to easily maintain our code base and scale into the future. The Car App Library enabled us to provide users with the Waze features they know and love through helpful components and templates. For example, Waze users submit real-time reports on what's happening on the roads, like traffic jams, road closures, and potholes. It is features like these that make Waze special, and it's important that users can easily use them on their car screens. The Car App Library enabled us to deliver these unique real-time features to our users across both embedded and projected experiences. By simplifying our development through the Car App Library, we're able to focus more time on adding new features, particularly in the EV space. This March, we launched EV charging stations on our mobile app. And today, we are excited to announce support for EV charging stations through the in-car experience. With more electric vehicles on the road, we know it can be frustrating when charging stations are hard to find or information is inaccurate. Since charging often takes longer than refueling, finding the relevant plug types and charging locations 
is really important. Ways map editors who volunteer their time to help us keep local information as up to date as possible, validate charging stations, add details on where to access them, and confirm information like plug types and operating hours. This unique capability of the Waze community allows us to share up-to-date information with EV drivers so they can have a more reliable drive. We have one more exciting announcement to share. Today, we are launching Waze in the Google Play Store globally for all vehicles that support Android Automotive OS with Google built-in. We're thrilled to unlock Waze for even more drivers today who will now be able to experience the best of Waze real-time navigation, routing, and alerts featured directly from the car's display. And if you've already used Waze on a smartphone, all of your settings are pre-saved and ready for you on your first drive. Now, none of this would be possible without our passionate volunteers and partnerships with automakers. Our community of Waze map editors keep our map up to date, and our beta testers help test the features we're sharing with all of you. And thanks to automakers, we continue to discover new ways to help drivers and bring ways to more places. And of course, we also want to take a minute to thank our users. The more users report, the more they're able to help other drivers on the road, and that's what Waze is all about. Now, I'm going to hand it back to Jennifer. Thanks, Adam. As you can see, Waze has taken a thoughtful approach by utilizing the platform tools and the Android for Cars app library to ensure Waze can continue to bring more features to more drivers across all form factors. If you're building apps for passenger and parked experiences, it's now possible to bring your video, game, and browser apps from tablets to cars and distribute directly via Play. We're working to make the migration even faster for developers. And there's another technical session called Developing High Quality Apps for Large Screens and Foldables to check out if you're interested. Across both driving and parked experiences, doing things hands-free in the car is important. With voice support for app actions, you can more easily add more Google Assistant voice interactions with your app. To learn more, you should check out the code labs on app actions on developers.google.com. We covered a lot of new opportunities for you to bring your apps to cars today. If you're ready to get started, go to g.co slash Android for Cars to learn more. On behalf of our presenters today and the whole Android for Cars team, thank you for your time. We're excited to partner with you to bring new app experiences to drivers across the globe. See you on the road. <laughs>